we have just um, been out walking, doing an, a walk with you, mm -hmm. uh, which was really nice. It's a beautiful day here in Stockholm, so it was. But and 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 I. So I was kind of trying to thinking. I was thinking about one thing, and I was. Because it's such a beautiful day today, I was thinking about the first time I met you. And I have to kind of recollect that now, uh, because... Uh, and this was uh, a few years ago when uh, TBA21 uh, was organizing a uh, kind of a conference uh, with concerts and talks and so on at the island of Lopurt, yeah. outside Dubrovnik. Yeah. And uh, the first time I came there, um, I had some other art friends there, like some of my colleagues and so on. And then somebody said, oh, there's a Swedish uh, person here too. Uh, oh, I said, wow, that's really cool. So and then they pointed out, uh, yeah, she, she's over there, standing over there. So I walked over to you and I said, hi. Yeah, and we were talking Swedish. And oh, that's nice to, nice to talk Swedish with someone. And uh, we said hello, you know, but uh, I was a little bit too shy to kind of ask you what you were like doing, do, wh what you were going to do, you know. Uh, I thought, well, you're an artist, so you just, you know, you're going to show something or do something or, you know, onwards. So, uh, and a couple of days went, and then I asked somebody else, a little bit sneaky, like, so, Osa, w w when is she going to do something? And uh, the, the person said, oh, she's doing something all the time. I thought, oh, really? That's, that's kind of interesting. Yes, she takes care of the weather. And uh, the, the fact was that Croatia and Dubrovnik, the whole area was just gray. And for the whole weekend was going to be gray, rainy, heavy. I mean, all over the country, all over the region. But over uh, Lopud was this round ring of clear blue sky and the sun was shining through the whole weekend when we were there. The last day, on the Sunday when we were, when we were going to leave, uh, it started to kind of be a bit cloudy and so on. So I walked, I walked over to you and I said, you did a good job. And you said, sometimes I'm lucky. And then we, I don't think we said anything else, but it kept, th this memory is of course, you know, something that I will always remember. Uh, and so, of course, the following question is just like, what was going on? I remember that, um, that event, basically, and it was, it was really a terrible weather. And uh, before we were going from the mainland with the speedboats to Lopud, because we used quite small speedboats, mm. and the waves can be tricky, they were thinking of cancelling Lopud and hire one of those bigger hotels on the mainland closer to Dubrovnik. That was what's going on. And I said, well, hold on a little bit. Let's, let's have a conversation with, with the wind, with the weather, with the, with the elements. And they said, what? Yeah, let's, let's listen to what they have to say because they are telling us something and they are communicating and sometimes when when they are like um, open to it you can you can start to negotiate and ask them to maybe choose a different route like we did today on the walk there were at many places this this you could you could walk either way you had choices so i asked the weather basically or the winds and they said, well, that's possible. Yeah, we, we, could, we could consider. But the thing is, when you do these um, negotiations, they want something in return. And I actually sold the energy of the group. But I might, I, I might kind of, I forgot to tell you that, basically. Yeah. But, you know, all the people, when, when they come there and artists, that are going to perform, they have excessive energy, usually, you know, like excitement, fear, nervousness, or being, you know, sometimes full of oneself. Um, so there is kind of an over f flood, 
like energy is uh, more than needed many times mm. and that I actually traded with the weather mm. oh. so sometimes you can say well I am lucky because the weather wasn't that bad mm. and um, it kind of told me that it's going to stay like that and it's a good it's a good deal actually so and this is also with this walk we we walk today which I call the acupuncture walk mm. when you think of acupuncture you think of someone is is uh, doing something to you but you are also doing something to to the therapist it's it's kind of a feedback loop and that is what we can use it's normal and natural mm. those feedback loops um, it's an ecosystem in itself so mm. I just used the the nature to kind of consider creating a little bit differently than plan A mm. and it, it yeah. kind of uh, said yeah that's mm. that's uh, absolutely possible so then I said well let's go with plan A mm. because we have a plan B mm. yeah, <laughs> so, well. so I mean all the artists that came there they had yeah. like enormous positive energy yeah and TBA 21 is actually a organization that creates very positive yes. e energy yes. yeah so nobody was like murky and darkish yeah. there everybody yeah. was like up and running and going yes. so yes. yeah uh, but but it's an interesting situation yeah. that we actually traded yes traded it, energy it's, a, it's so. a feedback system <laughs> yeah. always and we are maybe trained or having this somewhat colonial ideas of of being controlling but this is not it I did not fix anything because it's impossible to fix no. um, and that that's kind of a not a nice position to 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 address someone I'm going to fix you no, it's no. kind of no why I, so nature is the same and we are from nature so the nature isn't that different mm. from us so instead of fixing you you can um, well have a conversation like we have now and mm. and and give and take and be curious open and and uh, you know have suggestions mm. yeah. would, would you like yeah. to have a little bit of the of the excessive or the the over overdue of, of energy mm. that's going on here well yeah that would be nice mm. the weather said yeah. well why don't we do a deal <laughs> why don't we make a deal here <laughs> well yeah so so that was the the thing yeah and then i had the conversation running basically mm. all the time just to you know do you, do you do you have many of these uh, let's say uh, situations um, this this type of works uh, uh, have you had many occasions uh, during um, your yeah uh, profession weather talk you mean yeah well sometimes I talk with with everything because everything has a kind of an awareness mm. and and consciousness but it might not be what we think um, this is more like the indigenous thinking and knowing and creating I would say mm. though indigenous people can be as as um, you know rational and logical as whoever we are also part of the Western culture so mm. so one doesn't rule out the other but it's nice to have both worlds to access mm. and to and to create with yeah. and that I would like to give out to others that, that, that there we have choices there are other possibilities and options and and um, being open to it, it of course it's animistic you know yeah, that, that yeah. Um, yeah. but I do operate by that I do not see any other possibilities than animism actually yeah. because I come from that and, and that is the, the child like um, thing that I never ever grew out of basically yeah. so yeah, I, I, I do communicate with weather. I sometimes also have um, people coming together and we play with weather magic. You can speak to clouds. That's really cool because then you have more of the, the Western idea of, of having an immediate, immediate uh, reward. Yeah. You know, that you can see clouds and all of a sudden you start to think, did I create that? Right, or yeah, was it a yeah. chance by chance or yeah. is it like... Yeah. And then you you need to do it again, and all of a sudden, oh my God! I, I did I do that? Yeah. 
and, and this is how you can start to train that line of communication. Yeah. How is, uh, how is uh, willpower uh, connected to this? Willpower, I would say, when, when, uh, uh, when the word power is more like the... I mean, the power of will, I mean, or, or, yeah. or will. I mean, you have various types of levels of will. Yeah. Or like, will, will I want good. to have something to eat, that's one. Yes. But, but you have a very low basic... It's like a will, uh, uh, almost not power, but um, a wi will awareness. Is that even a word? But that might be a new... A will awareness. Yeah, or, that or just an urge, yeah. uh, which is really, really deep. Yeah. And uh, you can't really say no to it. You just It's yeah. just something that you actually want. Yeah. Uh, but then you could also t have this in training, right? Mm -hmm. So you could do it. I mean, so I'm just kind of curious how, uh, how much the level of, of, of will is, is connected to the, the dialogue. I think have. it's of course it's it's a, a matter of uh, will, but also curiosity. Uh, when you think about it, curiosity and will might be very really closely related. It's yeah. it's um, but it's what's I important is not to come from domi kind of domination and and this um, forcefulness. It's yeah. more like uh, being flexible. It's like a humble, yeah. uh, a lot of, of water. Water situation. is always a good metaphor because the water will find its way anyways, and drop by drop it will, it will kind of win, anyways, yeah. with a bit, bit, with a bit of time, and it kind of flows. It's impossible to really keep water a prisoner. Yeah. You you can, but you know it's um, why actually and it will find its way so I would say be more like water mm. it's a good yeah. idea well check what it do, do but because we are we are like containers of waters anyway so it's yeah. not that far no you just need to to look within and then you yeah, yeah. Mm. will of course yeah yeah it just water uh, will yeah yeah I mean uh, also the the walk we did uh, uh, it's also has to do with Choices, as you say, yeah. uh, also with with the um, we also we, I mean we, we are we, we are in the the art world as well, mm. uh, so it's like a performative artwork, yeah. uh, which which um, uh, I remember I, I participated in in uh, in, uh, in another artist's um, uh, walk um, in Japan. Um, uh, but it was not so, um, say, composed. And, and do you do you, do you, do you, do, you uh, do you have like a compositional, uh, like an awareness of composition when you when you structure uh, yeah, these kind absolutely. of works? And and, 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 how, and and how do you how do you go about to uh, to to, um, to structure it? Well, that, that now, now like how how do you write the score, so to speak? Difficult because I'm I'm not thinking uh, in that way. I'm more like um, it's also had to do with the commu communication with the place a lot because I do that like constantly. You're not the first one that asked me that question. What's the modus basically mm. and the, f the format? I I'm not really into that but of course it's an ingredient of that too uh, absolutely it's like chaos and order and um, I do go with chaos first or unstructure more like uh, imagine when you're walking in mountains for example you have an overview more mm. then you can start to narrow in and look at the, the more the details mm. um, I think I have kind of that way of, of looking at it. And somehow the idea or, or the purpose comes uh, as an, uh, well, that, that's creativity, I guess, or mm. divine, uh, wha where does ideas and creativity yeah, come I from? Mean, creativity, improvisation. Yeah. Uh, and then I look at the, the form and the shape, of course. Mm. Uh, how does it look? What is possible? Mm. What, what 
what is hidden underneath the, the, the surface. That's also very interesting mm. because that's what I talked about uh, in the, in, on the walk that we had saivo, like a, a place, it's a word uh, from, from Finnish and Sami where you have, uh, and o also many times names on places in the north, mm. that there is a saivo somehow. And, and that points out that there is an imminent third party going on. Communi communicating. I am more aware of the third invisible party or part um, and maybe that is more into the but I, I see many many artists have exactly that awareness but no word for it mm, but yeah, I can yeah. see that yeah. that the, 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 the invisible imminent kind of person is that or entity Yeah, I see that with almost every artist I know. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the one of the general... How do you, how do you create? Well, it's, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here trying to get you to explain something that you cannot explain, and I'm exactly the same, uh, in, in the same way, because uh, a good friend of mine uh, used to say, uh, uh, if I could explain it, I wouldn't be able to do it. Oh uh, yeah, that's a good one. Uh, and it's a good uh, sentence mm. because yeah. um, sometimes words are not enough. Uh, mm. Logic are not enough. Uh, there is improvisation. You have to, uh, and as you do, feel into the uh, to to the area. And uh, um, uh, I'm also curious about the, the how how um, because I, I know a little bit about the uh, the 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 connections that I guess that you have also when when you uh, live and when you kind of when you act when you when you work or when you uh, perform or um, to use maybe uh, weak uh, weak explanations but but uh, because you 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 have this sense of being connected to the earth but also to the underworld and to the Overworld, yeah. so to speak, right? You have these three entities in you uh, that they're you uh, that you directions. that you com yeah. communicate with yeah. all the times. So I mean, most people just walk on on the middle. Yeah, and I find that grade. really sad. It's very sad. Yeah. Uh, and then some people actually have some kind of idea about uh, doing it two ways, right? Mm -hmm. You have a plus mm -hmm. plus or mi minus or whatever you like. Mm -hmm. a, a a dual situation, but you have these three entities, uh, at least. I mean, you have many, but but three kind of base, basic structures, as I understand it. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, can you can you tell me a little bit about that? Well, um, I would like to to go back to you a little bit because I do see that you have that too, but you might not be <laughs> very explicit <laughs> about it, <laughs> actually. Mm. So. And that is more um, to pick up, well, energies. It, it's, uh, it's such a weird way, old, not weird, but maybe common or new agey a way of, of talking about energies. But it is really somehow voices, but not maybe voices by words, but voices by vibrations. You work a lot with music. Mm. And we have had discussions before about vibrations and, and stuff like that. Mm. So how do you pick up? You did the freak wave things, for example. Yeah, I mean, we do the EVP. Yeah, uh, that's, that's, I things, love the EVP. Uh, which is electronic voice phenomena. Yeah. Uh, which is um, a kind of several t techniques to investigate if you can detect and record voices mm. from the other side. Right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's very easy to get trapped into some kind of Christian uh, terminology of mm. like souls and this mm. and thing and, and uh, mm. spirits and talk about this. So we kind of avoid that. Actually, I really like the word energy. Yeah. Because uh, and if you if you just step over the new agey kind of thing and whatever, I mean, energy is is, uh, is is a kind of a it's a it's not so loaded yeah it's just energy and it's also something that i and most other people don't really understand 
like the energy from electricity and so on. I mean, it, you, you know what it is, but you don't really understand it anyway. Yeah. It's it's a very it's a very kind of uh, vague uh, but strong uh, entity. So, and we just try to find energies in various locations. We, you can find energy a, a, a anywhere. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, here, ev everywhere. Yeah, you can do these recordings. And can so you call energies? We call and it energies, call and then no, but then call them in, like yes, you, you yes, invoke you, them. Maybe. You, yeah, you always start yeah. to kind of yeah. present yeah. yourself and 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 uh, allow the uh, mm -hmm. the energies to be heard or so yeah. like in a in a humble way, just mm -hmm. like you start a, a discussion with with the weather or whatever. Yeah. Right? You yeah. have to you know have open up and you know you never really know what happens. Uh, some places uh, contain these energy clusters, mm. especially places that are <sighs> that things has hap have happened before, like really kind of nasty things, bad mm. things, horrible things. Mm. People have been suffering. So emotional imprints. I emotional call them. imprints. Yeah. yeah, but it could also be positive. Such. Yeah, uh, for sure. So, so you have various. That's also the uh, atmosphere, good or bad atmosphere yeah. at that place. Yeah, mm. but then. Uh, as as we are artists, we can sort of. Uh, I wanted to come to that to, to uh, the uh, distinctions between art and science, for instance, mm -hmm. uh, because we can we can just come up with with uh, statements and say something as an artist. You just state something. It doesn't have to be the truth. It has, you, maybe you can't prove it, but you say it. That's it, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, many people take take it as facts. Yeah. Uh, and you can, and you maybe you should. But on the other hand, there are many things that you cannot prove uh, if you come down to it from a from a scientific point of view. So, 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 and then so we 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 also deal with um, these kind of. Uh, Darker underworld. It doesn't have to be negative. I mean, no, the underworld is not dark. negative. It's just yeah. like one force, right? Yeah. And then you have the, er the the middle earth, and then you have the celestial kind mm. of etherics, and so on. And it's just you can have negative energy or positive energy, and we kind of play around a little bit with that. And sometimes it feels a little bit dangerous, and sometimes it feels a little bit like blasphemous or something but I mean we do it anyway because mm. but so I wanted to come back to you and uh, for uh, these kind of definitions of um, mm. uh, because when I met you the first time I I wasn't really looking at you as an artist you were there as you know I don't know some I don't know maybe a witch something or maybe a, you know uh, uh, some kind of you know wizard or something, right? Mm. A Merlin, or whatever, right? Uh, but now I, I see you al also as a, like a, a, a colleague, like an artistic colleague, so, and, and that's why I'm kind of interesting to hear from you, like if you could define, if there is a possibilities to define for you like what an artist is, what a scientist is, and what's in between. We, we were actually mentioning it the other day, but... Uh, yeah, with the, with the, uh, with the metaphor of also the doctor. Of the doctor. So you have the artist, yeah. you have the doctor, and you have the, yeah. sci uh, yeah. the scientist. Yeah, or the healer. You can also say the doctor or healer. Yeah, so can you, can you, uh, can yeah, you continue the there? Well let's let's re re invoke that conversation we had. Um, we started out I at, the, at the Camelot as mm. a metaphor for the world, mm. basically, to the, the castle of Camelot and the the um, more the archetypes that that kind of inhabits that we have the the, the court with the kings and stuff and and um, we have different uh, defenders of order and and then we have the fools that comes in and, and basically performs and they are allowed to do that because they should and they are allowed also to say the truth as as we talked about or you said that we can make statements mm. true or not true um, and fools are allowed to do that and uh, keep their heads you know survive mm. yeah. even if even if if there is like a crazy 
and also the fools. We have that saying that, or is it kids and fools and drunks say the truth? So maybe it is the truth. Mm. Um, it might not be allowed to discuss that openly. It might be uh, uh, a taboo stamp mm. like mm. on it, yeah. that it's taboo, you can't talk about it. So yeah, and then we, we have the healing or healer or doctor component which comes up with the cure for or the uh, some soothing remedy when it's too painful or too stressful we need an we need a cure or an outlet for difficult emotions and here the artists can create that uh, healing or can be also the the change maker as Anna Marie talked about artists as agents of change mm. can and and she added a question can artists be agents of change and the answer based on that would be can they yes what, what would you say yes yeah, yes yeah yes. i would also yeah, i totally, agree with you totally. totally so yes artists can be agents of change and going back to our the, the, this kind of time or, or place in time that we are together globally uh, experiencing now with the COVID situation where uh, governments or the court, the kings, close down everything or a, a, and especially uh, culture with the artists and the, let's say truth sayers, true or no, but the fools, the artists what did this create or not create because there is a lack of we are suffering from something now um, other other viewpoints other ideas creativity for sure so th this is interesting with yeah. the with the artist doctor fool kind of it's a complex yeah uh, it's a complex archetype mm. I would say and it's 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 not one specific or it's it's a it's a amalgam of of many at least three archetypes mm. maybe more that that artists might inhabit and communicate and that's interesting mm. because also it is a component of chaos in a too orderly controlled environment yeah i think that's very yeah. necessary yeah. actually yeah. and it brings in nature because nature is a little bit chaotic compared to uh, this kind of environment where we are sitting yeah. now and, and doing the interview is very controlled this kind of square yeah well, which has its its benefits of yeah. course yeah but it, it can also be rigid yeah. there's nothing yeah. happens here unless we put something in that as an ingredient of it's like the kind of you know the relation one has with time right yeah uh, so this is my second last question is what is your relation to time i mean we have yeah. we have western linear time yeah. x to y yeah chronological and then, and then you have yeah and then you have uh, other Space. types of uh, <laughs> kind uh, of other types of uh, <laughs> yeah. time uh, yeah. uh, situations so how uh, do, you, uh, do you have any ideas on, on this yeah you see i want to something came to my mind i'm also just for fun I went into the university to, to train as a nurse, which I thought was interesting because I have a background as a healer. So I just wanted to do that. I was never my intention to work as a nurse, but it was like uh, easy for me to do the program. And then I read uh, a book which was in, in the course. And the book was translated from Norwegian to Swedish. And it was about uh, different cultures that a nurse might meet in, in, in a hospital. And it was about time and, and coming uh, to the appointment, appointment with the doctor in the right time. Mm. Chronos, chronological. Yeah. Yeah. And then they said, because Norway, Sweden, Finland, Russia got the same area and the, the, of, the, of the Sami populations, which is the indigenous uh, people of, of, of these countries, and it said clearly in this book that Sami people don't have any uh, concept of time. They come when they come, you know, like, uh, and they have sloppy handshakes. And it was a lot of like really crazy 
ideas. The book was mostly about Vietnamese boat refugees. It was from that time. It was mm -hmm. like yeah. that. It's uh, quite some years ago. So that's an interesting question because it was judged from a very a ut utilitarian kind of uh, new public management point of view where you must come on time mm. on your appointment otherwise it collapses the whole system mm. and, and your time is out mm. yeah. so saying that that is one way of looking at time and also trying to fit in maybe a person that comes from following nature's time sometimes when you're at sea or or on the high mountains, nature kind of creates uh, obstacles or, or force you out of time. No, by, by mild force or sometimes brute force if there is a, a storm or something. So you need to adapt to that. And I, being a double minority and was brought up as a Swedish person, um, I, I can relate to both, you know. Mm. Um, so I have, for my, personally, I have one foot in both time. Mm. I am in time and out of time. Mm. And I think that is something really important to, to understand for, for each and every person. Mm. Um, and it's not um, the perfectionistic way, it's that and the other because I also worked as a therapist and then you need to follow time of mm. course mm. Uh, but then to understand and to find a cure for something where w this is interesting I have to say because where does healing happen it never happens in time mm. from my um, point of view and experience it happens when you're out of time, when you have a sense of no time, mm, interesting, kind of timelessness, mm. when you step out. And, and when you're in flow, we studied flow, Mihaili Mihailu, something which um, it's, it's complicated. He was the first one, or he wrote a book called Flow. Mm. It's many years ago now, but that's something where you find that you are stepping out of time mm. and you experience flow and timelessness. Mm. And when you are in that kind of timelessness mm. or outside time there is where healing happens mm. and so I've seen uh, yeah. I've seen crazy stuff happen you yeah. know in the I uh, that and I, I've been the channeler because it's not me I help that to 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 happen mm. so I am sometimes I am become the third part yeah between a person and and something bigger. Je est l'autre som Arthur Rimbaud said about his poetry. It's very ah, famous. That's uh, interesting. I my me is somebody else. Yeah, that's that's uh, something. So he's just he you just become he like a he was just the 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 filter. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So this is interesting yeah. to to be able to and when does this happen? We don't know. Also, uh, placebo is related to that, I mm. think, oh, yeah. because placebo usually happens outside the, 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 the protocol. Mm. It's an unruly thing happening outside the protocol. Yeah. I mean, uh, working with music and, and uh, it has these qualities too of timelessness. Yeah. Because you can listen to a, a, a music piece that has a really long duration but when you have when it's over it it feels different every time you listen to it because it just depends on where your mind is yeah really so yeah. it's really interesting yeah, this kind of situation so I, i'm just on that note <laughs> what <laughs> on that note about time and timelessness <laughs> and stepping out and yeah. in of time that's it <laughs> <laughs> but then uh, let's let's just uh, get to the point where we're we're all ocean right we're all water yeah, right we're yeah. all ocean um, and we are not only dealing with the ocean uh, we are dealing with all the elements we mm. are mm. even dealing with the fifth element right yeah uh, but um, uh, I'm, I'm kind of curious for of your relation to the ocean 
I know that you come from up from from the Sami area, so mm. you have the uh, the North Sea, you have the Polar Sea, yeah. you have the Baltic Sea, and you have the the waterways related and connected to the yeah. ocean. So, can can you just uh, tell me a little bit about the? I mean, it's a it's a huge thing. It's a complex mm. thing, but maybe you can, in a few words. <laughs> I would you say I go to mythology again mm. because it's easier to yeah. to understand and it's mm. it's a more common, um, it's more like um, it's a bigger idea of of Neptune or Poseidon. Go to the Greek mythology because we have the equivalent in 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 the northern uh, mythology too. Um, and and when you step into the world of of uh, Neptune. And speaking about time, when you're far out on the ocean, time doesn't really exist. Still, you know that you're on the same uh, earth, but it, it's kind of you, you enter another world where time dissolves more or less, mm. and you sometimes lose your, your sense of directions. And, and then you need to go within and ask yourself a lot of questions um, and maybe also start to communicate with the with the with the ocean, with the sea, mm. as a, a total body with a lot of cells and and um, well cells, but uh, creatures within the ocean. And I would say, ocean is necessary for our even sanity. You know, not only the physical sanity because it it, it contains uh, iodine, salts, minerals all that what we need it, it's a food bank too like uh, it's always been a food bank like um, we go to the ocean when, when it's been bad times in the inland of starvation Norway was always close and, and Norway is where the ocean is of course and and we could go there and always survive you know it's mm. uh, and and the waterways the rivers are the the roads that takes us we need to, it's also ridiculous. Today, we need to use the, the word roads, you know, like asphalt, about the really, really ancient uh, waterways mm. that we traveled on to go to the, the north. Because when it's a uh, mountainy and, and you have uh, all kinds of nature, waterways are the easiest to, to go and the fastest too, mm. I have to say. So, yeah, what's my relationship to the ocean? It's it's necessary both for the physical and, and, and spiritual, mental, um, psychological s sanity, health, mm. absolutely. So we need really to take care and start to, to have a relationship deeper with the ocean, yeah. out of respect and communication, like with the weather. Yeah. Yeah.